of Sun Sin and Sun Toastmaster and Yuvori Dada.
Yes, my son. Now let's fly to safety. Icarus laughed and flapped his wings as they began to move away from Crete. As they passed over Samos, he felt as divine as the winged god Hermes himself. As they crossed over Delos, he felt as invincible as the gods of thunders and sky Zeus. And finally, as they crossed Levintos, he felt as mighty as the sun god Apollo himself. And intoxicated with power, slowly began to soar towards the sun, forgetting his father's warning. By the time Tedalus noticed, the blazing sun had softened the wax that held the wet feathers together and they came off. It just fell from the sky and vanished into the depth of the ocean, even as Daedalus landed near the island where he fell a bit too late. Daedalus wept bitterly, lamenting his own arts upon the shore of an island which has since then been known as Icaria in the memory of Icarus. Seeing his pain, even the gods were moved and the goddess of craft, Athena, came down and gifted him a pair of wings which would never desert him unlike his sons. As Daedalus began to fly like a god in the sky, he finally accepted fate to his greatest challenge. A broken heart that could never be repaired. Even as the soul of a son repaid for his father's sins under the watchful eye of an all-powerful son.